I guess the light is on. I still can't really hear out of my ears right now. <laughs> but I really wanted to talk about the event that happened today because I had a lot of really good experiences. And so that's just the kind of video this is. So hi guys, it's Kai. <sighs> I, there's quite a few things that I experienced, so this will be something. It's also very much late. Um, I'm supposed to go climbing today and <laughs> I have to technically wake up in like five hours, but whatever. Um, I went to an event by Cos Cosplay, C O S dot Cosplay. Um, a beautiful lineup of Romar, Y2B, Kojo, Rome. I like blanking on the names, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's 5 10 o'clock. <laughs> so let me just. Romar, Kojo, Jinx, Rome, YHM, DJ, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, Enrizi, N, <laughs> Attack Again, Keeks, Guapos, Slice. I personally really liked Romar, even though I didn't hear all of it, which I'm <laughs> upset about because I don't know when the next event is going to be. Um, Kojo, I feel like sometimes I could vibe and then sometimes I couldn't. And then, um, mm, mm, I actually don't really recall if I stayed for a lot of Jinx's set, but I did like Rome and I did like YGen every so often, but I, I liked Guapo Slice. So pretty much my top were Rome and Guapo Slice. <laughs> Guapo. Um, I just think that's funny, but. Uh, it was so good, dude. Like, oh my god. Like, like sure, it, it, it didn't, like, vibe with every single mix and beat. And, like, it, it just was, like, I was able to go back and forth. And I didn't know that you weren't allowed to go outside. Like, there were no ins and outs. So I literally left to get water from my car. And then the people at the front were like, wait, there's no re-entry. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what? And then they're like, oh, but you didn't know. And I was like, well, no, I didn't. I wouldn't have left. And I was like, okay, but can I bring my water? And they're like, uh, yeah, it should be fine. And then I was like, okay. So I went to get my water, went back inside, went back and forth. I did really, really, really enjoy Rome. And like, this is a YouTube video, so I won't be extremely explicit, but like, honestly, I felt like I was in a trance. Like, genuinely, I closed my eyes, and there are other elements to this experience, but like, it was just so fucking good. Like, I can't, I, I, gen, it, it, <laughs> okay, give me a second, because literally sounds were coming out of me like i was laughing i was like hooting wooting i was like giggling laughing to myself like to myself and laughing out loud because of how fucking good it was and like the way that it was was kind of like it wasn't boring there are different beats there's a lot of bass at such the most beautiful parts and then Oh god, like, if anything, I just didn't want it to end. And so I, I looked at my watch, because I brought my watch this time, and I was like, oh my god, thank god it's only been 12 minutes, this is amazing. And like, I, I genuinely am so happy for myself, because I'm like, I actually got to stay for the whole hour of like, the whole set. Like, to me, like, I was telling to Romar today that I like, have such a sensitive ear and so like I can't 
I genuinely just can't, I just don't stay when I don't vibe with the music. And obviously this is based on my own personal preference and like what I consider good. And like, it's just, I stayed the whole time. So I was honestly shocked at first cause I was like, cause I haven't heard him play by himself. And like last time he played with Y2B and it was like a back to back. So pretty much like a collab, but I was, uh, like, I can't describe how good it was. Like, if you need someone to go to, like, to see a show, I genuinely highly recommend Rome because it's R-H-O-M-E. Um, they're very, very, very talented. And, like, I know this is from my own perspective and, like, based on my own preference as well. But it's like, oh, God, I could literally listen to his music, like for an hour straight like fuck like god but i genuinely went into like a trance and i just danced and i have never truly danced like that like that was the biggest thing is like when i'm dancing alone in my room i like like to look at myself in the mirror too but like i i have this flow when i'm in my room but when i was listening to them play i it just came over me and like I said, there are other elements involved in this and I don't mean to take that and make that take away from my own experience, but at the same time, I do understand that did like assist me in immersing myself and I just like, I had, I was dressed up as a maid and so I had this headband and I just put it over my eyes and I closed my eyes and I just like danced and it was so good and like, I'm genuinely considering buying a ticket to their event on Friday, which is like K-pop based, but as someone who's Korean, it's like sometimes you don't want to hear <laughs> K-pop, but like I also do like K-pop, just not all of it. And so I'm considering that because I genuinely just want to hear him perform. And like gosh, it was just so good. Like I was surprised. I was genuinely surprised, but then as literally after 12 minutes passed i was like okay this guy's fucking good like this guy's raw like fuck and so i experienced that literally to the point where i was standing for a fucking hour and 15 minutes or something and my legs started to fucking hurt so i had to sit down and i'm really grateful like i'm just really grateful and yeah that's just one part of this whole thing. Going into more of my personal experience of what I was going through, like, men mentally, emotionally, physically, I guess, but also spiritually in general. I recognize how certain triggers cause me to feel so much anxiety. And then when I'm actually going through it, like... For example, I wanted to give someone my number and I felt like it was just weird. Like I didn't, I didn't know what to do with myself and I was like, oh my God, this is so strange. Like, and I think, no, I feel that I don't really accept that part of myself when I'm like attracted to someone and I want to make the first move. But like, as someone who's in the feminine entity and has been trying to, <laughs> and like trying, in a way where I'm like, I don't know what to do to flirt. I don't know what to do. I don't know what the right way is. And like, I was literally driving away, okay? I left. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, no, I'm gonna regret this. Like, not even regret. I was like feeling this anxiety in my chest, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, like, is this just gonna be a passing moment? Or am I going to like, go forward with this and you know there's an interchangeable inter interchangeability with excitement and anxiety for me at least and like i was like am i excited or am i extremely anxious <laughs> and i was like oh my gosh i need to go back and so i went back and it was so weird like i was like i i kind of lied and i said that i thought i lost or forgot something i genuinely went inside and then i lost something like 
I didn't remember where my hair tie was and I was like what the fuck it was literally on my hand and I like had it wound around my hands in a way where it like couldn't have come off later did I find out that it was just in the fucking car but that's besides the point I like went and I did that and I like had this fucking I have a business card and I wrote my number on it and I was like going to the bathroom and I was looking around for the hair tie too because I was like what the fuck how did I actually lose something I'm like you gotta be careful what you fucking say holy shit but um <laughs> I was looking around and like Oh god, there's so much to say, but like, it is my own personal experience, but at the same time, I'm recognizing like, the insecurity and like, trauma, truly just trauma of like, past experiences of being attracted to someone and always being like, the one who makes the first move, but like, I used to shame myself over that and be like, you know, like, the very misogynistic way of thinking, like, oh, the guy should make the first move. And, like, I think a part of me is acknowledging how much masculine divine energy I have. Oh my god, y'all, it's getting bright. Oh god, I need to go to bed soon. But I just experienced so much from that. I ended up giving it to him. And, like, he did tell me he was tired, hungry. <laughs> and everything and I was like oh god this just feels so weird like uh. but I ended up doing it and I think the biggest thing that I'm going to continue to practice is just honestly being present with myself because it's already in the past and the most important thing is whether I truly do like them and yes, I'm attracted to them, but like that doesn't deter determine or deter me from being respectful to myself. And that's kind of what I experienced on my drive home. I was like, I'm not going to shame myself for asking to give him my number. You know what I mean? Like, it was also because this guy asked me for my number while I was fucking leaving. Like, I was in the car. He came up to my fucking car and like would not, he just didn't stop talking to me. And I was like, Oh, you should go ask them for their Instagram handle. And he didn't leave. And I was like, oh. And then I left. And then I was like, you know what, though? Like, men. No. Boys be asking me for my fucking number. Okay, I want to say men because I just want to be respectful to the age. But, like, men, people of legal age, were asking me are asking me for my number and I'm like what's so wrong about me asking you know I just went through a whole thing okay like I was literally in the bathroom for so fucking long so I was like holy shit like why am I here <laughs> and like I physically wasn't in the place to pl like play around with the music anymore I'm I was tired like sore literally sore sore okay that's how intense I went during Rome set but I was like, you know what, I need to make it clear. And then he did say like, oh, I was thinking of asking you. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, kind of on the same page. <laughs> but it was just so hard for me. Cause like, uh, I don't know what to do. And it feels weird. And like, oh gosh. But I'm kind of proud of myself because I'm like, I'm not shaming myself. Though I do still find it kind of weird. <laughs> and like, I think it's just the biggest thing is like, I'm really hard on myself. And especially that part of me that was in relationships and like caring for someone and then feeling like I'm too much, in other words. But now I'm stepping into this newer experience, a newer version of me where I'm understanding that. Only I can truly experience me and enjoy myself and like myself. Like, if I seriously think that someone else is willing or able to do that, the answer is not external, it's internal. And that's the, honestly, the most sure answer that I can even find. As a Capricorn Moon and a Capricorn Mars, like, 
that's just how I am and how I like I need to have that structure because I would lose myself as a Scorpio Sun as well and the Leo rising oh my gosh but like I would genuinely lose myself and that's what I felt and I also recognize like oh god there's so many fucking things but I'm gonna try and wrap it up because I do have to go to bed <laughs> um I used to think of myself really like strange like very out of just different you know and like today I recognize that people are actually kind of like me too and like they jump in and out of conversations they're really into talking and then one moment really into the music or like silence or like going back and forth and like I was finally able to become more aware of that and I think that's why it's so important to not internalize things too much but yeah that was my experience I just you know I think it'd be cool if we were to hang out but whatever <laughs> like that's my thing I'm like so like even if we were to hang out like ah, what would I do <laughs> And then I came to the answer of, I will just be myself, obviously, but yeah, once again, not overthinking, not worrying about it, not like projecting this illusion delusion, or even like putting myself down with derogatory, a derogatory mindset, or yeah, so that's yeah i just really enjoyed today so i wanted to record it and kind of like time stamp it because i don't know when their next event is gonna be and yeah <laughs> i just really enjoyed today so i'm really 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 grateful like especially oh, i don't think i'll ever shut up about this because it was just so good like the music he played was so fucking good like that's the only way I could truly describe it, like, I don't know the technicalities, and like, I just know that it was good, and trust me, I know it was good. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for being here, thank you for listening to me rant about all this random ass shit, like, this is definitely a little bit more personal, not gonna lie, <laughs> for me at least, this is the more personal stuff, like, God. but yeah seriously i appreciate it <laughs> i am sending you the best on your own spiritual journey and much love okay